Hello, Shian McCusker here, Intelligent Software. Welcome to another exciting episode of my series on sourcing and social recruiting for beginners. Today, I'm going to talk about the fascinating and exciting subject of X-ray search. That is using the uh, search engines, Google or Bing, to be able to search specific websites to get just the information you want. More and more, the problem of internet searching isn't about finding stuff, it's about not finding the stuff you don't want. So being able to direct a search engine to a very specific place in the internet is very, very useful indeed. How do you do it? Very, very simple. You use an, a search engine operator called SITE, S-I-T-E. All in lowercase, very important, it's all lowercase, if not it won't work, followed by a colon. Let me show you. This is uh, Google. And I'm just going to do an x-ray search of my own website. So site colon intel hyphen sw.com. And that tells Google that it, I want it just to search a particular domain. In this instance, my website. How useful that is, I'm not too sure. However, it's an example. Uh, so I could search here and then say I'm particularly interested in finding pages with software. Run that search. I'm going to get pages on my website that are specifically associated with software. Really useful. Recruitment software, or whatever else, which is what I do for a living. You can also use subdomains. So say, for example, if you were particularly interested in searching my blog site for software, it would be site colon intel-sw.com forward slash blog, which is my blog. And then whatever keywords you want to search on in this instance of software, and you're going to get pages that appear on my blog site which are associated with software. Again, an example, not particularly useful for sourcing purposes. Let's try it with sourcing. So I'm gonna, there's another website called Stack Overflow. Stack Overflow is really popular with the software development community, and it's a place where developers can ask questions of other developers or answer questions. And whenever they want to ask or answer questions, they create a user profile. And you can pay money to Stack Overflow to have access to search that, or you can simply use an x-ray search and get access to that information for free. Here we go. This is an x-ray search of Stack Overflow. Site colon stackoverflow.com. And I'm going to put in forward slash users because all the user profiles on Stack Overflow are contained within the domain stackoverflow.com users. So once I say this, if I'm interested in finding, say, a Ruby on Rails, Ruby on Rails person, maybe in Belfast, where I'm from, run that search, and I'm going to get user profiles of people on Stack Overflow who've got, you mentioned Ruby on Rails, I mentioned Belfast. Let's have a look and see what we get. Click on the first profile, lo and behold, it's somebody who's talking about Ruby on Rails, is in Belfast, and I've even got their website. It's an absolutely super way of being able to get really uh, fast access to detailed and quality information on the internet. The other famous use for x-ray search, of course, is an alternative way to search LinkedIn. Uh, LinkedIn is, uh, obviously, if I want to x-ray search LinkedIn, I can just type in site colon linkedin.com. By the way, you don't really need the www dot or the HTTP. That will not work uh, effectively. Uh, site colon linkedin.com. However, for different countries, LinkedIn creates a separate domain. So for example, in the UK, it's uk.linkedin.com. When I do that, I'm going to see all the pages LinkedIn puts up associated with the UK. What we're really interested in is profiles, and the uh, URL for a LinkedIn profile is either in the UK, uk.linkedin.com forward slash IN, or uk.linkedin.com forward slash PUB. So if I type in, say, IN, I'm going to get LinkedIn public profiles for people that are there. Say, for example, we try this Ruby on Rails. Keyword phrase in here again. We're going to get people that have Ruby on Rails, and these are public profiles on LinkedIn. That's it for me for today. That is X-Ray Search, massively powerful way of using specific operators to, to use search engines to find particular websites and nuggets of information there. I've got a whole range of videos on my website and my blog page talking about sourcing techniques and internet search. If you're interested, please 
have a look at the other videos, please share them with anybody. If you're interested in recruitment software, which is what I do for a living and earn some money at it, please check out the rest of my site or get in touch. Please connect to me on LinkedIn, follow me on Twitter. Thanks for your time. I look forward to hearing from you very soon. Bye.